Hey, I'm Michelle Walker, and today we're going to go over some ground handling tips for airplanes. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. First and foremost, always check with the pilot or owner before helping someone move their airplane. It's always best to ask them first where would be the best spot on the airplane to push or pull. Or if it's a new to you airplane, check the POH and see if it has any guidance on where to move the airplane. Before moving an airplane, always visually inspect it to make sure that moving the airplane wouldn't cause any additional damage, such as checking that there's adequate tire pressure. When at all possible, use a tow bar to move an airplane. Propellers are pretty strong, but if you push on them frequently enough, especially improperly, it could lead to some long-term damage. And if you're gonna push on a propeller, there's also always the chance that if you moved it enough, if the mags were not wired correctly, or there's something wrong with the switch, the engine could start or at least kick back. Always use the right tow bar or tug. Using the wrong tow bar or makeshift equipment could lead to damage of the airplane. Never leave the tow bar attached to the airplane and walk away. You could forget it, start up the engine, and then damage the propeller and the tow bar. If you have to push the airplane by the prop, never push by the tips. Always pull as close to the hub as possible. There's a greater risk for damage when your hand is farther from the hub. The blades could bend, the bearings could loosen, and you may need to replace the entire hub earlier than you should. Before going near the propeller, confirm that the mags are off and ensure that the mixture is at idle cutoff if equipped. Be mindful of rings or other jewelry on your hands that might scratch or damage the prop and never push on the spinner. Be careful when pushing an airplane. The repetitive motion of pushing and pulling such weight in an awkward body stance could create an injury or build up a repetitive stress injury. When moving a small airplane, you often have limited visibility, especially when moving it into a small space like a hangar. So, if at all possible, get a second person on the wingtips to make sure that you have adequate clearance while you're moving the airplane. If it's your hangar and airplane, consider taping down the points on the ground so that you know where you can move the airplane to have the right amount of clearance. If you have to move an airplane without a tow bar and you want to give someone a hand, the best places to push on the body of the airplane are as close to a joint as possible, such as down the bottom of a strut close to the fuselage. That's where the aircraft's going to be the strongest and going to be able to take that amount of force. You can use a tow bar with a tailwheel airplane too, but if you don't have a tailwheel tow bar, you can usually push on the vertical stabilizer or leading edge of the horizontal stabilizer as close to the fuselage as possible. Or if it's a light enough tailwheel airplane, you can just pick the tail up to make it easier to move. Keep in mind the terrain you're trying to move the airplane on. Is there a slope? Is the grass slippery? Are there potholes you need to avoid? Just be mindful of these things while you're moving the airplane. And remember when you're parking the airplane outside, always point it into the wind. Before walking away from the airplane, make sure there are chocks in, secure the control surfaces, and that the master is off. I hope these tips were helpful, and keep in mind, before you move an airplane, always refer to the manufacturer's guidance or the POH if possible. What are your other aircraft moving tips? Let us know in the comments below.